Now I really think about day in, day out. You know, I think of Tank Farm Bertie. What will happen is something, uh, somebody decided to go in there and bomb and detonate that tank farm. Hmm. You know what, what I think? It would be a worse disaster. It would be so bad of a disaster. The heat just from the explosion alone, the heat from that explosion would just disintegrate anything in that path. Concluding, it would probably would reduce this, it would miss the blast wave itself, would probably reduce this building rubble. People would be burned alive right where they stand. We not how serious this would happen if the tank fire blew up. It would be the most worst disaster ever happened. Not only that, it would destroy the Haida, ruin or just burn the Haida. Anything in Haida would be destroyed, including in the Navy base. We told each other it will, it will destroy the army, destroy this actor, destroy the city, almost biggest part of the city be destroyed in Hamilton alone. It would cause to destroy a good hunk of bird, a good hunk of Toronto. It would destroy everything probably would be in that path be destroyed. Just by alone, could that tank farm seen millions and millions and millions of gallons of fuel, trillions, a million gallons of ash gas. Aviation ash gas is very flammable stuff to eat high octane. Now and then you got pipeline being no not only would it cause that. Such a disaster would cause a huge um, problem with delivery of fuel to gas station. An airline won't be able to fly because they don't have fuel to fly. Military F-18 won't fly. They won't have fuel to fly. The Army truck won't, the Army won't be able to go. The, the people won't be able to drive cars. As a matter of fact, that whole severe such disaster would that be not only with a blast wave, would wipe out. Not only would it wipe out, you know, the city, or the river, Hamilton will cease to exist on the map after that. Except blast wave would destroy the city, because there's no way and that any humans, any humans that survived it would be, would not even, would be in so much pain, they would be, they would be, they asked to be sought to death, be killed, just to escape the pain. Of being that too, and that by that by that point I'll probably only be here, you know. Probably will be at that point I'll be burned alive anyway, so I won't be able to say anything about it anyway. So, but I you know I hate to say that, but that's what will happen if anybody, if somebody ever got a wild idea of setting of blowing up a tank farm, especially one of the weird tank farm get me worried on that bird. I think about it sometimes, is that everything had it blew up, but you know, hmm, I think it had it blew up in such a way, if it ever happened, that disaster happened, it would be a disaster, it would be so bad as freaking, so bad of a disaster, it would be, it would be the worst disaster in all of Canadian history. It will make Canadian history be the worst disaster, so, hmm, I don't think that. I hope, hopefully, because the pipeline would blow up too, and part of the pipeline would blow up on top of that. So that would be the worst disaster. Not only would it blow this tank from it, the, the flash of the explosion would go through the oil pipeline to Oakville, blow that up, and go to not only that, end up into Pearson, causing a massive explosion. And, between tank fire and tank fire throughout the province, it looks like one out there explode just from that alone. Because of that's how deadly street that be. No way think of that tank farm supplies all of so all of Canada, almost just about from all the way, almost all of Canada from here, from almost from north to the south and a good part of some of the bitter United States, all supplied for the Burton tank farm. And even there is export fuel out of the country to other countries too. So you think of that tank that blew up? Whoa. I mean, nobody would be alive to tell about it, would be dead. It will, could it will take the government, the military would be overwhelmed, and any law enforcement, anybody else out there would be overwhelmed. Hospitals will not be able to handle wounded. I mean, 
And if anything, um, we people be will be begging military to shoot them dead because their pain will be that great that they would they would rather die to escape the pain and to go through the pain for the rest of their life. So that can be a very serious thing. That time frame kills me sometimes. That time frame makes me think about that. What, it made me think of such disaster it could happen. It could happen. We got that much gasoline, trillions of gallons of time for gasoline and all that fuel. What does do? It doesn't take much to think about. It wouldn't take much. It would only take one spark or one, or one suicide bomber great enough to do it. You'd be like, no, nobody would live to tell about. Not only would he kill himself, he'd kill everybody else around him. You know, that would be the worst disaster ever.